everybody welcome back to my channel today is episode 9 of my 12 days of Christmas today I'm going to be making a Christmas wreath and it's actually going to be a little take on a wreath that I did last month a patriotic one and one of the most unusual supplies I'm going to make with it is these doggy waste bags I've gotten quite a few subscribers over the course of the past month and so I'm going to be sure and show that wreath from a month ago but I'm going to make it just a little different this time I picked up one of these little flying discs from the Dollar Tree but you could use an embroidery ring or even cut out a cardboard ring would work perfectly fine you're going to need some little miniature rubber bands I don't know if Dollar Tree sells the miniature ones but I know they sell rubber bands but I like the little ones because they're just small enough and you don't have to keep winding it around and so they're real easy to work with and let me just show you the package it's a sleek brand you get 500 and you get all these colors so I need 80 little rubber bands my ring and the package of the Dollar Tree doggy waste bags be sure and get the plain ones that don't have the doggy print on them now as far as the center embellishments I'm gonna do a couple different variations you know these are the Dollar Tree little Christmas ornaments they won't be available for another several months, but I just want to show you what it'll look like. If you go ahead and get your wreath made, you could use the balls, or you could easily find some inexpensive poinsettias at the craft store to embellish the center. So I'm going to go to my front door now and show some of you my patriotic wreath from last month. And this one, I used a wooden embroidery hoop and I just tied the bags on there. If you decide to do yours like that, that would work great too. And hot glue, whatever center embellishment you want on there. But the first thing I need to do is go ahead and separate all my bags. They just tear them off the roll and then flatten them out like a rectangle. You're not gonna open the bags, you're just gonna open them up flat until you have all 80 stacked up. my stack of my flattened 80 bags and this right here is something you can just do while you're watching TV so I've never used one of these flying discs before I'm not sure if it will take all 80 bags but if it does at least I have them because I want my wreath to be nice and full when I get finished so I'm just gonna take a bag try to match the end so that I know that it's centered up on the ring and then I'm gonna wrap the bag twice with a rubber band that's all just twice and just attach them to the ring just like that and I'm gonna be smooshing them up all the way around and get on there as many as I can that simple <music> friends that took about 30 minutes of just constant tying this is the back and the front and my ring is covered perfectly it took exactly 80 bags and you can really get the sides of this wreath fluffy as fluffy as you want it will really perk up and as I was tying I thought you know if you use like black rubber bands it would be so cute if if you decorate for Halloween to put little spiders around the center it's just an idea if you do decorate for Halloween. But here I'm going to finish it out two different ways. One is just with the poinsettias. I'm going to just set them around just to show you what it would look like. I love these Christmas flowers, and that does give it a little more traditional look. But the main reason why I use that ring is because I knew I wanted to hot glue the ornament balls on there. That flying disc just gave me the space I needed. If I would have tied them on an embroidery hoop, I wouldn't have had as much space as needed so I'm gonna hot glue my ornaments and then I'll show you the wreath hanging up y'all have it hanging on my front door now just to give you the full effect I think it turned out adorable it was so easy to create and you can make this for three or four dollars depending on if you cut your own cardboard ring and you can get the same effect so I hope you enjoyed this easy little project and stay tuned for episode 10